This is my patient, Sherry, which will be going over her case. I'll also be treating Dr. Preci, and Dr. Preci will be treating me. So let's get started. I haven't felt so good sleeping, like I said, so last September 19th. You're saying you haven't slept that good in almost seven months? Seven eight months. months. Yeah. My body was in pain. I just, I couldn't get a good night's sleep. So after your visit, I went home, had some food, hit the bed about eight. 8.30, slept for about, I don't know, nine hours, eight and a half, nine hours. Got up, wow. took a short walk, had breakfast, and then I just fell right back into bed and slept for another four hours. You're catching up for seven months, eight I months guess. worth. <laughs> I guess. So it was nice, yeah. Oh, and my jaw feels so much better. I don't know what you did. Did you? We did some trigger point work on it. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Let's do some more. Mm -hmm. From the top, you ready? Yeah. Push up for me. Go. Good. Try this side. Push up. Good. Be relaxed. Push up. That is a test. So this is called a flexure withdrawal reflex. And it should go strong. Push up. And on you it doesn't. <laughs> so it tells me either the foot is out. Oh. But if I do it on this side and it's also weak, then it tells me it's something in the center of your spine that is out. Oh. Push up. So, for example, so if this was strong, mm -hmm. I would say it was just your foot, but the fact that it's both <coughs> sides, mm -hmm. it's a center structure. We're going to double check. It. I was initially going to narrate a lot in this video, but Sherry asks really great questions, and she's just a natural. So she's actually asking questions, and while I answer them, it actually was not intended to be this way, but it fulfills in a portion of what I'm always trying to teach or educate. So I'm not going to say much in this video because she just does such a great job and it just feels peaceful the way it is. This video is not edited much. It's pretty much a raw video. For those of you who are interested in what a session looks like that's not heavily edited, this is the video to watch. Okay, try this test for me. You have a right lean, if I recall. I want you to make a left fist for me. Push up. Push up. Good. Relax for a second. Push up for me. Go. Keep that left fist. Can you relax? Push up. Good. Push up. Good. Keep the left fist. Push out. Good. And push out. Good. Are you just testing strength when I push out? Yes, I'm checking for strength, but I'm also checking for muscle injuries. Okay. I'm trying to find out if you have a muscle that's in injured. Okay. If it's a muscle on one side that's weak, then it might be an injury just on that side. But if both sides are weak, mm -hmm. then it tells me it's something in your spine that's out. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So the fact that we made a left fist and all your muscles became strong tells me it's... Says, remember the balance mechanism we talked about last time? Right. It's something we need to work on today. Quick question. Why shouldn't the doctor adjust both sides of the neck, three spots on the back, and both sides of the pelvis? Why perform any muscle testing or exam at all? The reason you do exams with sensitive patients is because chiropractic can cause more harm in patients that are sensitive. I'm very happy you slept that well and doctors can cause patients to be worse. And this is why you perform exams on patients. This is why you find out what areas of dysfunction they have. Now, I don't do just a straight with somebody, you have therapists that do it. Oh. Well, my treatments, it's not that I don't do them. You know, I just do what patients need. Hmm. Never had that one, huh? No. Chiropractic is not just about fixing the body. This picture is trying to demonstrate how the body affects the brain. And you want to find a practitioner who understands that because your brain is very precious to you and it's what allows you to be you, to be calm, to be rational, to be sane, to have a good quality of life. All right. When did you graduate from? Chiropractic college? Yeah. 2002. A haphazard adjustment and not understanding where the body has dysfunction can cause the practitioner to decrease the performance of the patient's brain and the patient won't get the same benefit as they would out of a proper exam and proper treatment. That one again. Go. Good. 
good. Try this one. Push towards your hip. Okay, much better. This is the exercise you're going to do at home. All right, so. You do the arm. Really? Other direction. <laughs> Other direction. Okay, so we're counting. Other direction. What will this do? This is to offset your lean, your right lean. I do, because my hip. I don't think it's your hip. I know you've been told it's your, I know. Because I favored this one for so long, but I you don't think? think? No, I think you favor it because it has more strength. Uh, and I think it's because your left side's not working properly. Okay. I'm feeling calmer is what I think I'm hearing. A lot calmer. Good. A lot. So thank you for that. Thank you. Go your friends. I will. <laughs> Alright, we'll give you a small little push in front. Okay. Did you get warm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No more cracks, okay? You just got I want you to go walk for me for just a little bit. So do you travel around? I see these pictures that it doesn't look like you're... I love travel. Um, I, do, I try to travel, but you know, travel is expensive. Yeah. Um, I got back from India. I did chiropractic in India. You did? Yeah, I'll show you. Take a look. Balance your stress, your anxiety, your body pain, okay. other, other direction. You can feel it, yeah. That's why I guide people in the beginning. Okay. Alright, you rest for a little bit. Okay. Here, I'm going to pull you towards me. I will not let you fall. Okay. I promise, I'll block you. Section I sometimes I do, like it's a great deal too. <laughs> <laughs> I can. We're going to do a little different one on this. Alright. I won't let you fall. Because it feels like I'm falling. I know. Okay. I promise. Oh. oh, that's good. Got it right? Yeah. Alright, so remember how we started? They were weak. How'd mm -hmm. you make the left fist? which told me it's a left-sided issue. Right. We adjusted your left side, did some left-sided cerebellar exercises, adjusted your left neck, did your low back. Now we're gonna go back and recheck your muscles and I wanna see that they're all strong. Okay. So from the top, you ready? Mm -hmm. Leg straight, push up. Good. Push up. Good. Push up. Great, relax. Push up. Good. Push out for me. Great. Push out. Oh, Good. That's so strong. Yeah. Turn your head right for me. Push out. Good. Keep your head there. This should be weak, so don't feel bad if it is. Go. Push out. Okay, so that's normal. Don't feel bad. Turn your head left. Now it should go strong. 
How really? is that possible? Michelle, oh. it's called your tonic neck reflexes. Okay. Keep your head there. Okay. Push uh, head left. Head. Push towards me. Oh. So it should go weak. That's normal. Now turn your head the other way. It should go strong. Perfect. Yeah. We're going to do your brain exercise one more time. You ready? Tell me this was gonna be a test. Well, it's not a test. I know. Other direction. Oh, okay. Other direction. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Wait. You're doing good. Alright. Other direction. That's it. I feel great. I feel great. <laughs> feel calmer? I do feel calmer, but my body just feels lighter. Just me. He's like, I want an adjustment. 